How do you hold a guitar pick? Let's go through the basics of holding a guitar pick right now. It's all between the finger and the thumb. Thumb goes across, finger curled slightly underneath. Firm grip on them and let these fingers relax. What we don't want to see is a fist. Okay, relax, but keep a firm grip on them, please. So this is Glenn from Guitar Practice Hub. I am a guitar teacher here in Australia, have been for uh, nearly a decade. Uh, fortunate, I run a guitar school in a sunny town called Coffs Harbour, New South Wales. If you haven't heard of it, look it up and tell me in the comments below what is the most famous thing in Coffs Harbour. But the way I like to hold the pick is have it on the sort of on the side of my finger like this and my thumb goes across. You'll see how the thumb's going across here. Not 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 like this. A lot of beginner guitarists will hold it in the tip of their finger and thumb. We don't want to be doing that, okay? So what I want you to do is thumb goes across on the side of your finger. Little bit on the tip, bit on the side. Again, no right or wrong. Find what's comfortable, but I encourage you to have maybe about mm, half a centimetre to a centimetre poking out. Don't get too bogged down on that at the start. Just get into holding the pick. What I like about the guitar pick is I can get uh, a bit of speed, I can get precision, I get a nice crispy uh clear sound, clarity. I do enjoy it. I feel like I got a lot of flexibility with this thing and I don't just mean that it's flexible. When you're strumming it downwards, angle the pick up. When you're strumming it upwards, angle the pick down. Little sweeping motion back and forth. Now you might ask yourself, uh, do I need to use a guitar pick as a beginner guitar player? My answer is, why not? You know, uh, you may as well start using it sooner rather than later. I know that uh, a lot of uh, people, when we start out on this uh, guitar, we find it easier to do the old strumming or plucking with the side of your thumb. And just, you know, it's nice and easy. And that holding the pick might just be one extra thing you've got to worry about. But look, like anything new, the more you do it, the more it can settle into you and become part of your routine, part of your habit. Uh, and become generally, dare I say it, easier, okay? But keep that firm grip on the pick at all times, otherwise it'll go flying. Look, if you've gotten some value out of this video at this point, helping you get started with using a pick on the guitar, if you could just uh, help us out by hitting the subscribe button to our channel, uh, you'll be in the loop whenever we bring you our guitar practice videos, our techniques, our drills, our exercises, our songs. You will be uh, informed every single week. And if you've got an acoustic guitar like this one, whatever you do, don't be strumming along and then all of a sudden... <sighs> Come on. Get out of there. Hey! Put your hand up if you've ever dropped your pick in the guitar before. So which one do you want to use? That's a good question. Now, generally, I would say when you start out on the guitar, you want to get yourself a, um, look, a, th a thin. This one here, it's quite thin. It is 0.6 of a mil. You could even go thinner. You can see there's, um, let me just get out a shot there. You can see it's a bit, it's fairly flexible. That's going to make it easier to use when you're strumming. <laughs> What I would suggest is to just buy a handful, a good handful, like, let's go crazy, buy at least 10 of them. Go from about 0.5 millimetre up to about one millimetre. See what you think. The thinner ones are nice for beginners and strumming and that sort of thing. Uh, the thicker ones, you get a little bit, they're a bit harder, you get a bit more um, precision. Very good for lead playing and stuff like that, but there's no right or wrong answer here, like a lot of things on the guitar. If you want to click below, I've put a link in uh, to, to these exact picks that I like to use. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> So all you need now is some guitar exercises to get that pick across the strings moving up and down. Strumming, how about that? So right now go to this video and it's going to get your strumming happening. Click here and we'll get into that as well.